Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Quorum Admiral's Cup AC45 Titanium and 18 karat rose gold. You can see this automatic winding chronograph and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details. On my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this watch has the 2013 to present case profile known internally at Quorum as the AC45. Now, 45 millimeters across the round of the case, that's the roughly 3 to 9 o'clock measurement. It doesn't include the chronograph pushers or the crown guards. And in the case of a cushion shaped case, it's more of a theoretical measurement. Now, the true and telling measurements here are the thickness of the watch. 14.5 millimeters, actually not bad considering the stepped flanks of the case, and 51 millimeters, which is the measurement from lug extremity to the opposite lug extremity. That is to say, the true width across the wrist. Now the watch is actually quite nicely planted on my 16 centimeter wrist. Because of the shape of the conforming strap, and the contour of the lugs, and I'll show you in profile what I mean, it's actually easy to fit this oversized reference around a smaller wrist, and the reason for that is that the lug simply juts straight down. You can see to good effect how the lugs themselves are nicely contoured, and they jut down almost as soon as they depart the flanks of the case. Moreover, the strap itself, although it conforms and closes the gap between strap and case flank, it doesn't have the tendency to flare that you get on many conforming straps. So this one doesn't want to flare out and billow out and fight the curve of your wrist. In fact, it, it thrusts straight down on both sides. So if you do have that small wrist, even as small as perhaps 14 and a half centimeters, you're going to have absolutely no trouble shipping this nautically themed watch on your smaller wrist. And in fact, it fits nicely. It's a very high grade monotone stitch black leather alligator, of course, and it's teamed with a deployant clasp that's actually clever on several fronts. First, twin trigger. I always prefer this because you need positive release. It's not friction fit. It can't accidentally dump itself open during a moment of roughness on the wrist or accident. Moreover, with the double fold deployant, you have those two increments. You don't have that one huge up and over that can pinch skin when the watch is buckled down to a smaller loop on a smaller arm. So ergonomically, this is a great setup for those like me who do have smaller or average sized wrists. Now, the watch itself is updated over the classical dodecagon shape of the Admiral's Cup, and what I mean is that although the 12-sided bezel, sapphire, and dial are continued, you have a somewhat more conventional cushion-shaped sports watch case underpinning the whole ensemble. And it works well because when the entire watch was, quite frankly, a little bit of a novelty with its 12 sides, it had maybe a more polarizing look. This is a little bit more mainstream in terms of its case profile, while at the same time maintaining the best aspects of Quorum's 12-sided bezel, rayhot, dial, and shaped sapphire. Now the dial's an easy one to read. All applied rose gold indices and trapeze-style hands with cutaways to reveal the chronograph sub-registers. It also features a pennant-style motif across the dial. Now the pennants are also arrayed at all 12 positions outboard on the rayhot, and it's been a signature of the Admiral's Cup since 1983 when the very first dodecagon Admiral's Cup came out of Le Chaux de Fond. Prior to that, it had been a water-resistant watch series, but it didn't have the iconic shape that today we associate with the Admiral's Cup. Now, it's a very substantial watch in every respect, and you can see that the chronograph pushers in 18 karat rose gold, along with the rose gold crown, dominate the three o'clock side of the watch. They're beautifully made, and you can even see right down to the polished bevels across the chronograph pushers. This is a thoughtfully designed watch. Quorum has a reputation as a bit of an art house, and this watch represents that well. Now, now on the case back, which is screwed in and endows the watch with 300 meter water resistance, you can see the winding mass decorated with the Quorum double key and underneath a caliper based on the ETA 2892A2 with the Dubois de Praz modular chronograph. What this means essentially is that you have bi-directional automatic winding, a 42 hour power reserve, you have all of the underlying features of the 2892 including hacking seconds so when you pull the crown you do stop the balance allowing synchronization to a known accurate reference time. You can see that to good effect here. 
You can also see that there is a date, and because of the 2892 base, it does have a quick set. Now finally, because it is a vertical clutch chronograph, you can simply engage the chronograph and allow center seconds, the chronograph seconds hand, to match the hours and minutes of civil time at center. If you prefer not to read subdial seconds, just leave the chronograph running and read it off the center. Hours, minutes, and seconds coaxial at center. This is a handsome watch, and again, due to the AC45 redesign, it's one that has broader appeal than earlier novelty-oriented Quorum Admiral's Cup references. It's a handsome and it's a versatile watch, and with a combination of rose gold and titanium, it has a beautiful luster to it thanks to the contrasting metals and contrasting metallic finishes brushed and polished, as you can see. You can see it, and you can purchase it on our website.